Our expectations are we need to build a race worthy bike. Our rules were kind of wide open to a point, so a lot of it was your own imagination. Okay, where do we save weight? How do we make it handled better? My take on it is, you know, I just want everybody to go out there and have a good time. It's definitely a challenge to take, you know, a bike that doesn't belong on a track that way and get it to a point where it can handle decently out there. You start out and you really probably question yourself, will this thing really work? The first thing that happened when the bagger got here was just blow it apart. So the bike we're starting off with uh, for this King of the Baggers race is a 2020 Electroglide Standard. I picked it up in Durango, Colorado at Durango Harley-Davidson. I would say the biggest challenges we have uh, with the platform we're starting with is A, it's weight. So that was a big thing we try to do was try to shed as much weight as possible. We've been working hard on just trying to get as much ground clearance so that we can have maximum lean angle. What's this bike normally used for? Commuting and touring. So, you know, <laughs> pretty far from what it'll be used in the next couple of weeks. For us, it was about removing the rear subframe, removing all the body work, get things as light as you can, take as much stuff off of it as you can without sacrificing the rigidity, the performance, and the styling. You have to start out with the stock frame. You can't modify the stock frame. There are parts on the bike you can modify, obviously. Suspension, wheels, brakes. So the biggest thing that we have that's, that's in this build, you know, besides all the things we're worried about for suspension and riding position, is the heart of it, you know? Uh, thank God we're partnered up with Harley-Davidson and we have a 131-inch crate motor in there. We installed the Harley-Davidson 131 crate motor. That's the biggest motor they allow you to put in it. When you look at that, you know you have the power. You have the torque because it's a V-twin. It's just the general characteristics of it. We're going to be in the neighborhood of 170 horsepower, 160 plus foot-pounds of torque. Making them handle well is going to be a real key at Laguna Seca especially. We have the means of pretty much designing engineering, manufacturing, and making any one of those cool parts on that motorcycle. I, I mean, it takes a lot of people. We have, we have a, a, I've got some really good friends that are part of the team, they're part of the crew as well. Uh, as far as like hands-on working on the bike, it's, it's me and my right-hand guy, Ruji. For us, my goal really starting was, let's get 120 off of it, let's get 125. And then you start weighing items, you start looking at things. As of right now, um, according to our calculations, from what we've taken off to what we've replaced, there's a difference of 136.4 pounds. There's a couple of things that I'm pretty, pretty excited about. I'd like to see how the front end reacts uh, with what we did to it and the geometry setup that we did, um, and also the mid controls that we have set up. Lifting those pegs up pretty high the way that we did, I think that's definitely getting us a lot more lean angle. A lot of handmade parts, made our own exhaust and our own intake. Losing a lot of weight was a big thing. So when I found out we were not able to use carbon fiber wheels, our next step was obviously a nice billet wheel. So we went with the Marchesini ones, but it's still really cool when you have the carbon fiber, just like, just like we do on the whole motorcycle, carbon fiber bags, carbon fiber tail section, everything basically in the back of this motorcycle is carbon fiber. We've shed as much weight as possible as we can, and you know, hopefully we got the, uh, the geometry, the suspension, the ground clearance all dialed in. I think some people might be surprised at what these bikes can do. 596 pounds. And then what are we looking at the top? 805 pounds. So loss of over 200 pounds, lots of carbon fiber. The biggest unknown for us right now is probably rider comfort and rideability. You know, the first thing is like nerves. Because <laughs> you never know. You just, you never know what can and can't happen.